Well, I got my bracket on my reservoir for my supercharger cooling system. So I got that mounted. I actually found, uh, because this car actually had a battery in it at one time, so we had a 446 barrel in here with an A33 four speed that we swapped out for this amazing Hellcat. So I actually had a battery tray in here, battery brackets and everything else. So what I did was I actually put the, one of the battery brackets that was already painted a limelight on there to stiffen up our hoses. So you can kind of see, I mean, it's not super rigid. There's a little bit of play in there, but it should work out just fine. So now I'm to the point into where everything's plumbed all the way around and I'm getting ready to put in my actual heater core, or miniature radiator, whatever you want to call it for this supercharger system. Uh, the really unique thing about this Hellcat engine is a supercharger in it, and it's actually got its own cooling system. I had to kind of look at some old pictures that I found of, of actual Hellcat engines in, you know, Hellcat Challengers and figure out how to plumb it out. I like to keep everything looking as OE as possible. So if you were looking at a 1970 Superbird back in 1970 with a Hellcat engine with a supercharger and a cooling system on it, that's the way it would have looked. All right. What I'm gonna do now is, this is for my supercharger cooling system here. So it looks like a heater core, but this is what's cooling this big old supercharger up there. That thing's got, I think, five or six rotors in it, so it gets hot, so it's got its own cooling system. So that's been one of the more difficult things to mock into place on this. And what I'm utilizing is all the factory brackets. They gave me the factory brackets with a lot of this. So I actually cut this one in half. The pump, it has a 12 volt pump that actually runs this whole system. So it's not actually connected to the engine, it's a 12 volt pump that cycles the coolant through the supercharger. Has a 15 pound radiator cap, so it's a pressurized system, just like your coolant system would normally be. What I ended up doing was I mounted the 12 volt pump up here uh, behind this headlight area here in the 70 Dodge Cornette uh, fender. And I got my hose, cut a hole here, got my hose coming through here. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna go into this, it's gonna come out of the cooler, go here, then cycle back in up here. You can kind of see where these hard lines are. I utilized all the factory lines, all the factory clamps and everything, the factory bottle, the whole nine yards. So I'm utilizing every little piece that Mopar gave me because I want it to look like this is the way it would have looked in 1970 if this engine was in here. So that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to use as much of their hose as I can, as many of their clamps as I can. So what I do is I got both of my lines kind of in here, my in and out set up. Got some of these little nipples and stuff to run through, but right now I'm gonna put this bracket on here, but on my Superbird nose, uh, we're actually using an actuator to run the headlights on this. So I got this motor unit that's gonna be sitting like right in here. So I had to do a lot of measuring to make sure I had room and everything. So what I come up with is I'm using their factory bracket with the rubber insulators and everything to mount this. And the top plate of my nose comes up here, so when these screws come through, I gotta allow clearance. So I can't just bolt this right to this plate. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna step this down a little bit so that either I'll have clearance for my screws whenever that top piece comes on, but then still be able to reach all my hoses. On the cooling system on the supercharger, they sent me the pump, the heater core, uh, some of the lines, a lot of the hard lines in the reservoir and everything, and they actually had the plate, you know, that held the pump. But on the Hellcat, that plate and the heater core and everything mounts in the Hellcat Challenger right in the front, all in one piece. I, of course, did not have that room. So I actually mounted the 12-volt pump inside the front part of the left front fender. So I actually had the pump mounted in the front fender. It came through the actual air dam through the radiator support, all that area where I actually had to run the plumbing. So I actually had to fabricate a bracket, which was really cool because I was actually able to use Mopar's original bracket and just cut it, add a piece to it, had George weld it up for me. And I actually mounted that right on the front left fender so I could mount that pump right there and run the hoses right through that inner part of the fender. So that was the only piece I really had to fabricate. And then I was able to use the rest of the framework uh, to mount the heater core to the front part of the radiator. So in all in all, I used a lot of the original parts that would have came on a 2017 Hellcat, just had to add a little bit of metal. I'm super nervous. First time I wired up a Hellcrate engine. So I'm just hoping 
and praying that this is gonna be a one-shot deal and it's gonna light up the first time. We, we're down to hours pretty much before the car has to leave for SEMA. Any you know problems or altercations that we're gonna have right now is devastating. So I kind of checked everything twice, made sure I got it all right. So keeping our fingers crossed that it's gonna work.